Hello, my name is David Kamanzi and welcome to Rwanda, the land of a thousand hills. Rwanda's story is one of hope, perseverance and reconciliation. Right now we're in Kigali, the nation's capital, also known as the cleanest and safest city in Africa. Home to over one million people, Kigali continues to grow and has become a beacon of what Rwanda can become. We're going to go on a journey to see how God's church is overcoming some of Rwanda's greatest problems. We'll be hearing from local pastors from all around Rwanda on how God is using their church to impact their communities and how they're equipping their members for ministry. So let's get started. I'm here with Pastor Gabriel, one of the pastors in this area, and he'll be sharing his story. I'm one of the orphan care pastors in this area and uh, where this orphanage uh, used to exist. And our local church helped uh, find families for the children that used to live in this orphanage. So we visit them and make sure that the families are doing well and are healthy. Uh, currently this orphanage is empty and it has been turned into a school. And I would like us now to go visit one of the families that adopted the children to see how they're doing. So here I am with the family that adopted a child from the orphanage. So my name is uh, Chantal. Uh, my husband is at work. But we've been blessed with three children. One of the children we adopted from an orphanage. When we heard about the church initiative to find families for children that were in an orphanage, we made a decision with my husband. Initially, it wasn't easy, but through prayer and our local church, we made the decision to adopt the child in our home. And it has been a blessing to walk that journey as a family. Thank you. This is Pastor Jiren Jiro, and he's the pastor of the Good News Church, and he's going to share a little bit about his church. Uh, God has blessed this church. We have different ministries that we're doing uh, in the church that help uh, impact the community around us. At this moment in church, there's a healthcare ministry that's going on. And we're going to go and hear from one of the members of the church and how the church has helped impact their life. We are at the Good News Church and uh, we're here to hear from one of the members of the church their story and how the health ministry in this church has helped them. My name is Chantal. When I found out that I was HIV positive, I became very angry and I felt depressed. I felt very hopeless. I felt like uh, everything that I was doing was not going to uh, achieve anything. I felt like I was going to leave my children behind. When the pastor found out about this, he came to visit me. And he invited me to the church. I met other members that were also HIV positive and through that we created a support group. And through that support group, we learned how to uh, live a healthy life despite mm -hmm. our circumstances. So I brought back uh, the hope and the desire for life through this uh, experience with this church. 
And I feel like I have joy and hope back in my life and may God bless you very much. You, you can see around uh, us that there are people also uh, receiving uh, blood pressure uh, tests. And we are all happy and encouraged because of what the church has done for us. I'm here with Pastor Leonid as to hear about how his church has impacted the community. This is the Methodist Church. And the church has been here for the past 10 years. One of the biggest issues in this community was young children that had no access to education. But as a church, we knew it was our responsibility to find a solution, so we decided to start a preschool. And we've had this preschool for the past five years. Let's go meet one of the teachers to hear the story of how this has impacted the community. So I'm here with one of the teachers of the preschool to hear about how this preschool has impacted their community. My name is Evodia and I've been a teacher at this preschool for the past two years. One of the greatest things is the fact that children who could not initially afford uh, education can now come to this preschool. We've also seen parents of some of these children also start attending the local church. And we're able to equip them and train them for their future. We also teach them biblical principles and teach them how to pray and love God. And we are very grateful, so thank you. So I'm here with Pastor Michel to hear his story about how his church impacted the community. Yes, I'm a pastor in the Presbyterian Church. Uh, members of our church and our community were faced with different problems. One of the issues was access to clean water, so as a church we decided to start a clean water initiative. And so I'd like us to meet one of the members in our church to hear how this ministry impacted his life. We're here at Pastor Michel's church, uh, standing in front of the water catchment system with one of the members of his church to hear his story of how this ministry impacted his life. My name is Pascal. Uh, me and my family had a very big problem of access to clean water. We had to walk very long distance to fetch for water that was usually very dirty. And because of that, we used to fall sick. But now we uh, have access to clean water that we use for cooking and washing our clothes. Uh, usually before, the access to clean water was only for the wealthy in the community. But now we're very thankful for the pastor and the church for giving us access to water. Thank you. So here we are at Pastor Fordwa's church and he'll be sharing what his church does. So this is the church that I lead. And we are currently here in a savings group so that we can address one of the biggest issues we have in the community, which is poverty. Whoever receives the money in this group, it helps uh, them be able to deal with the issues that they have in their homes. And we would like to visit uh, one of the members of this savings group to see how that has changed their lives. So we are at the home of one of the members of the savings groups and uh, she'll be sharing her story. Her name's Mukabe Ranelia. 
Uh, she joined uh, her local church and from there she was be introduced to the savings group. I was extremely poor and I had nothing. But through the savings groups I have a home. I have electricity in my home. I've been able to get cow, uh, cow and also grow some things in the, in the plantation. And I'm privileged that no one can fail to get something to eat if they visited my home. And I'm really thankful to the pastor of my church for introducing me to the savings group. Because through the program, my children have also been able to get an education. And I'm very grateful to God.